Hey guys, Matt Z from the Optimus uh, Future Studio. Um, today I'm going to talk about the importance of the average true range. In previous videos, I um, promised you to go through the daily trend, uh, four hour trend and one hour trend, but a lot of customers have started asking me about uh, when they saw the, the other videos, uh, I got emails about the importance of ATR and I wanted to address it again. So there's a lot of technical indicators out there that have copyrights on them. And I think many of them are useless because you can just replace them with many other things. Average true range is actually one of the better ones out there in my personal opinion because it, it's a true, again in my opinion, true representation of volatility and how traders should adjust their trades based on, um, uh, based on um, the uh, volatility. Um, so the average true range gives them that. Uh, Wells Wilder, he's actually the founder of this and there's a lot of variations that came to the market. Um, the easiest way to, to measure the average range is basically take the high and the low, the high and the low, but I want to show you some other ways that you can measure it as well. Uh, the true range, you can take actually the current high minus the previous close. You can take previous close, current low, current high, previous close. So there's a number of methods to measure average true range again i think the simplest way is just to look at the high and the low of every single contract and calculate that for whatever period you want um, the issue has for me has become you know okay well where we are today relatively to the other periods this is what really what we're measuring where we are now relatively to other periods so we know the average true range let's say for the last 14 days but you want to know what is the last bar that you're actually checking what that represents and i think that is also a good addition to the average true range where you can adjust your trading so again what we have done for those of you who haven't seen the previous videos uh, we do the daily range the four hour range and the one hour range uh, basically gives you a representation whether you're a day trader or a swing trader or medium term or a longer term or a trend follower it gives you an idea of the recent volatility of the average true range so what we're looking for is actually let's say the last bar this hasn't closed yet but the last bar okay where where it is now relatively to others right in the daily one hour and the one hour range. So this, for example, we're going to look here. Okay, let's look at the time frame on this. This is a one hour, right? This is one hour. So you're going to see that if you are trading one hour, you're going to have here the last bar of the one hour as it calculates back. Um, and I mentioned in the other videos, the periods that we look back, you see that the last hour is actually very, very high. So obviously you have to adjust it uh, accordingly if you trade and you can look at all the periods of daily four hour um, and one hour range okay that sounds a little bit repetitive but again what we're looking as traders is actually to be flexible right you don't want to come with the same rigid mentality every day to the market without looking at the market context there's a lot of ways to look at market context, both from a technical and fundamental standpoint. But this calculations here give you an add-on to the average true range that many traders use anyway. Let me give you an example of something where you can use the average true range, okay? Let's say that you are trading the E-mini S&P and the average true range calculation, let's say, is 10 points. So now you know that you can set targets within those 10 points that could be, it could be volatile. If you set stops of two points or if you set targets of two points, that's a little bit low for such volatility, right? Naturally. So you have to expand it with it, right? Now, let's say that you're saying, okay, previous days, you know, this was the previous bars, let's say last 14 days, last two weeks. This is the average true range, but I want to know today the last bar, what has happened. And this is where we measure the last bar relatively to the other periods. Again, mentioned in the other videos, the periods that we look backwards and then you look um, that we calculate um, and you see here the percentages. So now I feel a little bit more comfortable. I hope you understood 
the concept of the average true range, its importance, and how we enhanced this thing over here in order to give you a little bit of a deeper view of what is actually happening in the market as you trade every day. So if you are, for example, a day trader, you want to look at the, the you also want to look at the one hourly. Now, some people might ask, why didn't you do 30 minutes or 15 minutes? You know, there's certain periods that it just, you're getting too much micro, you know, it's just too much noise. And we felt that if we were going to keep it to an hour, that would give us a good idea of what has happened there, right? So again, we did it for, to give you a full scope of daily, one hour, four hour and one hour, again, to encompass all the traders out there. You might use only one hour out of it, or if you're looking for larger, um, bigger time frames, you would look only at the daily. But either one of them will help you and enhance the concept of the average true range. Um, I hope it helps you. And until the next video, this is Matt Z from the Optimist Studio. All the best.